Thursday, the 19th of October 2017, the normally busy streets of Oma Town were completely deserted on Monday afternoon as West Tyrone breathes a collective sigh of relief that damage from ex-hurricane Ophelia was not as bad as anticipated. A new storm is on the horizon but, by all accounts, nothing like what was experienced in many areas this week. Schools, businesses, services and the general population will get back to normal today, Wednesday, as the various agencies start gathering information about the impact of Monday's event. Three people were killed during ex-Hurricane Ophelia's rampage in the Republic of Ireland in what was the worst storm to hit Ireland in more than 50 years. It also left hundreds of thousands without electricity overnight, and its expected repairs may take to 10 days to complete. The Met Office first alerted responders here to Ophelia last Friday with a yellow warning. The upgrading of the warning to an amber alert on Sunday resulted in the convening of a multi-agency teleconference meeting later that day to assess the situation. As the possible destructiveness of the former hurricane became apparent, all emergency frontline responders were made ready for all possible outcomes and although the ferocity and widespread extent of the storm never materialized here like it did in the Republic, most towns and villages in West Tyrone became ghost towns as they shut down from lunchtime and allowed staff go home to avoid any potential dangers that might have transpired that evening. Members of the public were also urged to stay at home unless their journey was absolutely necessary and to avoid wooded parks or areas which had a high concentration of trees. Fomana and Oma District Council issued several warnings and closed its offices and facilities and sent staff home. Alban collection routes were completed across the district on Monday, with the exception of one route. Alternative arrangements have been put in place later in the week for bins not collected. A spokesman yesterday Tuesday said the council was currently assessing any damage caused to its own estate. However, it will not have any overview of damage caused throughout the district as it will not be made aware of all storm damage incurred, he said. There was some disquiet locally among school principals over the late notification on Sunday night that schools were to close on Monday. This also sparked a measure of annoyance in the business sector with retail knee chief executive Glenn Roberts saying the late closure of schools was handled badly. There is no doubt this storm has cost the Northern Ireland economy severely, with thousands of businesses closing and extensive damage to property. However, legitimate questions need to be asked as to why the decision to close schools was taken so late on Sunday night whilst this was the right course of action to take. The late decision created difficulties for many of our member staff as they struggled to make childcare arrangements at 11.30pm on a Sunday evening. We also need to ask if the overall response to the storm could have been more effective and would decisions have been taken earlier, if we had ministers in post-running departments. Special measures were enacted throughout all the government departments affecting this part of the province. The Department of Health announced that all routine Western Trust outpatient appointments and routine treatments for Monday afternoon at the OMA Hospital and Primary Care and the Southwest Acute Hospital had been postponed. The Trust contacted people directly in relation to their appointments. Daycare services were also closed and again. The trust said it would make direct contact with clients and their families to confirm arrangements. The Department of Education advised that all schools remain closed on Tuesday but reopen today Wednesday. The same advice came from the Department for the Economy. It decreed that further education colleges across Northern Ireland, including the Southwest College in Oma, should remain closed yesterday. The Department of Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs DAERA announced that forest and country parks managed by DAERA in West Tyrone also had to close to the public. The Department for Infrastructure DFI activated its emergency plan and roads and rivers teams throughout West Tyrone were ready to respond to any impacts from the forecast for severe weather. A spokesman added the department would continue to monitor impacts on roads, rivers and tides and would ensure the public were kept up to date. West Tyrone MLA, Tom Buchanan said he had to thank the civil servants and first responders for their initiative and work over the past few days and while there had been some criticism leveled at the civil servants, they had ultimately taken the right decisions. He added, he had not heard any reports of any major damage in the West Tyrone area and was grateful that no one had been injured unlike the unfortunate people in the Republic who had been killed by the hurricane. Another local MLA, Declan McAleer, also thanked all those first responders who worked tirelessly to keep people safe from Ophelia. Our first responders risked life and limb in dangerous conditions to keep us safe. They undoubtedly have family members and loved who are concerned about their safety as they battled the storm, so it is important to recognize the impact on their families as well.
West Tyrone is a very rural constituency and huge credit must also go to home care workers who went out and battled the winds to ensure the most vulnerable were cared for. The council's emergency planning team also kicked in and played a vital role in coordinating all of the services. As with all major incidents, there will be a review of operations and how the response was coordinated and delivered. It is important that lessons are learned including early decisions in regards to school closures plus an all-Ireland approach to emergency planning as weather doesn't recognize borders, he said. The Irish Weather Forecasting Service, Met Irene has warned a potential second storm on Saturday could trigger a status yellow weather warning and will bring rainfall and heavy winds. The spell of bad weather, which would be called Storm Brian if it develops into a storm, is expected to hit Ireland or piss close by on late Friday and Saturday and a smaller bad patch will cross Ireland on Thursday. John Eagleton, meteorologist at Met Irene, said it was predicted to affect the south of Ireland, but may affect other parts of the country. Based on current models, the forecaster said he was not too worried about it, and the Saturday storm would be nowhere near the scale of Storm Ophelia. He said if the weather system moved more north, it could turn into something more and could trigger a status yellow warning. Subscribe to read full newspaper, send this page to a friend, please complete the following form to inform a friend about this page.